plant deck. I got Queen of Thorns, which I've been wanting for a while, so that's really good. I'm glad I got that. And then, yeah, um, I got some other cards, and I made a better plant deck, really, so I guess I'll just show that to you now. Cursed Fig. Wall of Thorns, it's basically a plant mirror force. Plant Food Chain, that's a new one. Um, basically, it gains 500 attack and it's a trap card, so it gains 500 attack and if it gets destroyed by a card effect while well, equipped with this card, um, I can special summon a plant monster from my graveyard, so it's basically an equipped card that acts as Lord Poison, basically, so yeah. Um, Magic Cylinder, um, I put that in just because I love this card. Ultra rare as well, so it's quite old. Really, like, I traded that for Gauze and Stardust Dragon Super Rare, both of which he needed. So, Ivy Shackles, <coughs> Copy Plant, uh, Compulsory Evacuation Device. I'm thinking of taking this out, uh, but it's okay for now. Giant Cephalotus. It's really good. Uh, basically, when a plant monster is sent to the graveyard, it gains 200 attacks. So it's quite useful. It's got 1,850, and it's a four star, so it's got a high attack anyway. So I'll put that in. Lord Poison. Uh, special summon from a grave from the graveyard when it's destroyed by battle. Trapahoo. I'm looking for bottomless, but I'll keep that in now, just for now. Uh, another copy plant. These are just to help synchro summon either Queen of Thorns or Stardust Dragon if I'm really wanting to. But they're the only two synchros I've got. Oh, I need to get a Thought Ruler, uh, Black Rose Dragon, and I think that'll be it. So yeah, uh, MST staple. Um, one for one. Um, I decided to put the little misprint one in. Cause you can see there, it's sort of like missed off. Because I think that's quite cool. So yeah, I put that in just because I really like that card. Um, helps me special summon Evil Thorn. Sacrifice it, 300 damage and two more from my deck, which would be good for Titanial fodder if I've got it in my hand. So you know, it's not bad. Um, I've added that in my deck as a new addition. Uh, Wall of Ivy. Um, basically, it's just really good. So yeah, I guess I could um, use that with um, Rose Tentacles, so Evil Thorn, got three of those in my deck. Um, Kokai Meru Gravy Rose, um, I've not got any real need for this at the moment, but it's got 1,900 attack, so I guess it'll do for now. Uh, itchy eye. Another Evil Thorn. Botanical Lion, that's really good. It's got 2,000 defense and it gains 300 for each plant monster on the... F oh, uh, you control. But it's a plant monster itself, so it's got 1,900 attack, so it's not bad. Um, Lone Fire Blossom, just to, you know, special some Titanium from my deck. Stupid hair. Um, another Lord Poison. Uh, one Rose Tentacles. I found out this can't be special summoned. Um, so yeah, I've only got one in. <coughs> Draining Shield. It's quite good. Basically like Magic Cylinder, in, but instead of taking life points away, you gain them. So, uh, Twilight Rose Knight, good for a quick Synchro Summon, I guess, if you've got the right cards in your hand. It's never happened for me before, but it might. Um, Botanical Girl. That's really good. When it's destroyed, I can, um, special, oh. Add a plant monster with 1000 or less. So it's basically just like Violet Witch, just a plant, and it doesn't have to be destroyed by battle. World Tree, I think I've got two of those. Yep, two World Trees, just um, just good if you're, um, if you keep plant monsters keep getting destroyed, you can just activate one of the effects, one of the three effects, depending how many counters you've got on it. So uh -huh. it's not very, not very, very useful. Um, Wall of Thorns again, just a mirror force for plants. Nettles, that's a new addition. 
Um, just a two-star tuner, just in case I've got, say, Giant Cephalotus on the field. Summon this, Synchro Summon, Queen of Thorns. Yeah, and it's hard to kill if you've got plants on the field. Uh, fragrance, uh, fragrance Storm. Now, my mate actually pointed out a strategy with this. He said, um, because of Ivy Shackles, that basically makes all your opponents face up monsters plan. Um, this effect is destroy one face up plant monster on the field and draw one card. So basically, say if they've got, I don't know, a very high attack monster, say Armor Master for example. Armor Master. If you're on my channel, Armor Master is there. Um, yeah, basically, yeah. And if you draw a monster, if it's a plant, and you can draw one more card, so it's not bad. I've put just one in my deck, so you know. Evil Thorn, again, that's three. I know nobody runs Evil Thorn, but I think they're stupid. Because Evil Thorn's brilliant. Uh Seed Cannon. I've only put one of these in my deck. Um Yeah. Basically every time a plant monster is summoned it gains a counter. You can remove one count or you can destroy the card to inflict damage to how many counters, so say it could get 5 counters on it, so you can inflict 2500 damage, which is a bit painful. Um, card destruction, uh, it's a super rare one, uh, just because if you get a terrible hand then, yeah. It may actually advise me to take that out because it doesn't really work with my deck, but I think it does. It's helped me out a lot of times. Um, Swords of Revealing Light, absolutely love this card. One of my favourite cards. So yeah, uh, another Lone Fire Blossom. It is semi-limited, so I've only got two in my deck. Basically really, really helpful for someone in Titanic. I've done it loads of times. Um, probably the best card in the deck, Titanial Princess of Camellias. Basically, I contribute a plant monster face-up plant monster I control to negate the activation of a spell trap or effects monster effect that targets a card on the field and destroys it so it's basically sort of like um, Stardust Dragon Assault mode but it's easier to summon and you can tribute any monster any plant monster on your field so it's really good it's got 2800 attack as well so yeah and it's incredibly easy to summon so I really like that. Gore's just a staple, just in case. Um, Mark of the Rose. Uh, I need two more of these, so offer trades. These are brilliant. Giant Cephalotus, again. Ivy Shackles, just for um, Fragrant Storm. And finally, Violet Witch, just to help summon out, uh, search out Lone Fire. <coughs> so, yeah. That's it. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, my wants will be in the description. So, yeah. Uh, yeah.